Adventure Philippines. Here in this channel, we create videos about travel, hiking, adventures, and everything in between. So in this specific video, I will be sharing with you our scaffold bike hike itinerary. Everything that we think you need to know about summiting the highest peak in England will be mentioned here, like how to get there, what to expect, what to bring, etc. So if you're interested, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more travel related content. So let's start with a brief description. What is Scaffold Pike? Scaffold Pike is the highest mountain in England located within the Lake District in Cumbria. If you're wondering how high is the highest, so Scaffold Pike is standing tall at an elevation of 978 meters above sea level. Now if we're going to talk about difficulty, its difficulty depends on various factors like your level of fitness, how heavy your pack is, but it depends highly on the weather. It can get very windy up there. Yan, sobrang lakas ng hangin. Yat pa mo! Foggy with zero visibility, sometimes damp and cold, slippery, and of course, the mountains of Lake District can also be covered in snow during the winter. So, konting trivia lang. If you've heard about the national three peaks here in the UK, so the three national peaks are Ben Nevis of Scotland, Snowdon of Wales, and Scaffold Pike of England. Scaffold Pike is considered as the smallest, but it is also said to be the most challenging. That is why you should never underestimate the mountains. Always be prepared and well-planned, whatever the season and no matter how easy it seems to be. Now, let's Let's talk about the distance. So how long will it actually take for you to reach the summit from the trailhead? Again, it is multifactorial, including the choice of route and your level of fitness. The direct and easiest route will be via Wasdale Trail, and according to Google, it will take you around 3 hours for the ascent and 2 hours for the descent. So what are the expectations? Generally, it is a tough and steep hike with a lot of uneven terrains and scrambling surfaces and sections. Not to mention the very rocky summit. So mabato siya and talagang uneven and unstable yung mga tatapakan mo sa taas. But the view from the top is nevertheless breathtaking as always and syempre worth all the hard work in the end. So what made this specific mountain so special aside from its rocky summit? Yung trail niya is very unique because there will be multiple streams and valleys along the way with a number of lakes between mountains. So having said that, uh, Scaffold Pike is surrounded by numerous peaks giving you a 360 degree mountain skyline view from the top plus more prospective mountains to climb in the future as well. You will also pass by some man-made pile of stones along the trail near the summit and are used as trail markers. So lalong lalo na kapag uh, covered in fog na yung trail pa summit, very useful talaga siya. So now that have some idea about the distance, the height, and the difficulty, your next question would probably be can a beginner climb scaffold pike. So in my opinion, as a beginner myself, I would say it is manageable as long as you have the correct footwear and a reasonable level of fitness. So my answer would be yes, because the paths are well maintained and are easy to follow as long as the weather is favorable. So how to get there? So itong route na babanggitin ko is a commuter's London to Lake District route since London ang mas pinakakilala na point of reference. From London to Lake District, take the train from London Euston, Penrith. It will take you around 3 to 4 hours via Avanti West Coast. And then, pagdating mo ng Penrith, the bus stop is located just outside the Penrith train station. So, ang landmark mo dito is the Penrith Castle. Take the X4 Gold or X5 Gold bus from Penrith to Keswick. Mga 45 minutes ang travel time niyan. And then, pagdating mo ng Keswick, ang landmark naman for the bus stop will be the the Boots Supermarket. So, hindi mo siya malalagpasan dahil sobrang laki ng supermarket na to. So, pagdating mo ng Kesway, take the bus number 78. Usually, nasa platform 3 siya. And it will take you to Sea Toller. So, Sea Toller yung final stop. So, mga 30 minutes naman yung travel time na to. And then, upon arriving at Sea Toller bus station, start walking to rounds Seawick, um, which will be your jump off or your 
trailhead. So now let's talk about the different routes and trails to the summit. So the answer depends on two things. First, if you're traveling by car and second, if you're a commuter. So if you're traveling by car, it is best to take the Wasdale Head Trail. So this trail is shorter but there are no public transportation available in this area. If you're a commuter, start at C Toller bus station and then walk towards Seawith. So yun yung route na binanggit ko kanina. So from Seawith, there are more trails to choose from. Let's start again from Seawith. Continue hiking until you reach Stockley Bridge. So ito yung itsura niya. Yan, siya yung magandang bridge. So, pagdating sa bridge na yan, from there, you will choose whether to turn left, that's towards Rudy Hill, or turn right, and that's towards Tyhead Gill. The path following Rudy Gill, which is on the left, will give you a wide valley view. So, ganito yung itsura ng trail. It is a moderate but continuous ascent. While the route on the right, which is the Stihead Hill Trail, will be multiple ascents at the beginning and then fairly leveled as the stream becomes wider up to Stihead Tarn. So, ito naman yung itsura nitong trail na to. Also, the Stihead Gill Trail, it offers more of the Great Gable View and much wider streams, which is very relaxing. So, as compared to, to the Rudy Gill, mas narrow yung mga streams while doon sa Stihead Gill Trail mas wider yung stream so para talagang ilog na dumadaloy ganun relaxing siya once you reach Stihead Tarn that's where a corridor route begins so ito yung pinaka popular na route dahil sa ganda ng mga view na dadanan but from here you will encounter more ascent more scrambling and steep rocky slopes so medyo yun yung mga sketchy na trail, dito mo siya madadaanan. The point from where the corridor route and Wasdale Trail meets will be filled with unstable, uneven rocks, and the trail will remain rocky up until the summit. So, ito na yung famous and unique characteristic ng scaffold pike. Yung summit niya, and the trail going up to the summit will be covered in unstable rocks and uneven. So, you'll know when you've reached the summit as the trig point will be there to welcome you. So, ito yung trig point. Dang! Okay, so medyo confusing na siya sa dami ng information. Well, kami medyo naguluhan din kami at first. And as I've mentioned earlier, I'm a beginner myself and it is our first time hiking here in the UK. And the experience is very much different from the mountains that we've hiked in the Philippines. We're not familiar with the terms being used like climbing instead of hiking and trailhead instead of jump off and many more. So we are also new to the most multiple trails, routes, and other summits available. But we've somehow enumerated some of the terms that we think are necessary for this certain hike. So, isa-isahin natin siya. So, these are specific in Lake District. So, first is Dale, which means valley. So, ang example nito is the Wasdale, by the Wasdale Head Trail, and Borrowdale. So, may Borrowdale na lake in the middle of Lake District. And then, number two is Tarn, which means lake. So, ang example nito ay Sprinkling Tarn and Stihead Tarn. So, ito yung mga lake na nasa gitna, nasa tuktok ng bundok. And then, number three is Gill. So, nabanggit ko kanina yung Rudy Gill and Stihead Gill. So this means narrow valley. And then number four is Fell. It means mountain. Hence, Scafell. And then number five is Pike, which means peak. Number six is Swip, <laughs> means clearing. An example is Seawit. And last one is Trig Points. So kung aakit ka ng bundok dito sa UK, lahat ng mga bundok dito may Trig Point. So ang Trig Point ay ang mga concrete pillars that are placed on top of British hills and mountains. So now that you know all of this information, you might be wondering, saan ako bibili ng pagkain? Saan ako kukuha ng tubig? Anong dapat kong suotin? When is the best time to climb? So start tayo sa food. Where to buy food? As I mentioned earlier, ang landmark mo sa Keswick is the Booth Supermarket. So before catching the bus going to Sea Toller, pwede kayong bumili ng pagkain sa Booth Supermarket. And also, it is the supermarket is surrounded by restaurants and other food shops. Next question, what to bring? So since it is important na to pack light during hiking, kailangan talaga na necessities lang yung mga dadalhin mo. Number one, of course, your trail food. Number 
over to important medications like pain meds. And if you're asthmatic, kailangan dalhin mo cough mo. And then number three is the water filter. Number four is torch, just in case na magstay ka overnight and madilim na yung trail. And then number five is whistle, just in case of emergency. And then if you're wild camping, of course it's important to bring a tent, your portable cooking equipment, a sleeping bag, and insect repellent, and of course a map. So that brings me to the next question: Do I need a map? Yes, of course. So even though ang ang mga mountains dito sa UK have a very well maintained trails and easy to follow, important pa rin na magdala ng map. We used a View Ranger app. So View Ranger is an app na you need to download a certain route, and then once the route has been downloaded, you can use it offline. So in short, gagana siya sa bundok. But even though you have this app, it is still necessary na magdala ka ng backup, which is a physical map, just in case something goes wrong, like mag malfunction yung phone or whatever. So another important thing to remember in hiking is of course safety and emergency. So what we did, register to 999 prior to your hike and always let someone know where you're going. Also, you can download the app What Three Words so that rescuers can easily locate you in case you need to be rescued. Ito kasi sa UK, may mga rescue teams na binubuo ng mga volunteers in case of accidents. So, meron silang rescue operations. So, when is the best month to climb? So, um, as Filipinos, hindi tayo sanay sa cold weather. So, syempre, the best answer would be uh, during the summertime. But, the British weather is well known for, for its unpredictability. So, you'll never know if it's going to rain or kung magiging masyado bang mahangin or kung malamig ba or mainit. So, the best thing to do is always check the weather forecast. And ang um, weather forecast sa bundok ay iba sa usual weather forecast na nakikita natin sa cellphone natin. So, best if you'll download Met Office for a more accurate weather forecast. So, lastly, where can you stay? The area around Wasdale offers multiple options for accommodation. So, it includes hotels, B&Bs, hostels, and campsites. Actually, yung way namin from Sea Toller bus station, may nakita kaming open campsite doon. So, like, it's an open area wherein you can camp. So, hindi siya considered as wild camping because you need to rent the space where you can pitch your tent. But in our case, we did wild camping in one of the tarns, and that is Sprinkling Tarn, and ito yung tura niya. We stayed there overnight, and then we climbed to the summit early in the morning. So, yun yung trip namin. So, that's it. I hope this has been a helpful video for you if you're a first-time hiker and you wish to climb Scaffold Pike in the future. Uh, we also did log version of this hike, which we did last year after the first lockdown. We also did a relaxing hiking video from that trip, so you can click right up here to watch them. To wrap this all up, I know that this pandemic have caused a lot of big changes in our lives and the whole world. We have to be more cautious and vigilant now. But as we transition into the new normal, some things will always stay the same. It is still very important to leave no trace wherever you go. Be safe out there and we're all in this together. Let's do our part not only in saving the environment but this time also for mankind. So if you're interested in travel videos and travel related contents like this one, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Follow us on Facebook Life Adventure Philippines and YouTube channel Life Adventure Philippines and always remember to travel wisely, travel responsibly, and always leave no trace. Bye-bye! Yeah.